Man, great, great win. Winning is hard. So every time that we get it, we're able to to get one more. You know, uh, you know, you got to be happy with the outcome. You know, um, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. I really did. You know, I thought we were able to um, to move the ball pretty well. You know, uh, um, this is our second game with 20 plus assists. So whenever that happens, you know that means that guys are playing unselfish, and also means that guys are making shots. So uh, it's a lot of good to take away from there. Uh, <clears throat> You know, we this is the best three point outing we have had in a very long time with the with the number of makes, you know, and and the percentage, you know. So, um, so I guess it makes up for our free throws. But you know, we 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 still got a ways to go, you, you guys. You know, we're trying to get healthier and and, and playing. It's about the most guys we played all year. You know, uh, I think we got a good group of guys. You know, obviously, um, it's a process, and it's, and I'm glad I'm glad that we took a step in the right direction today. You know, last year around the same time this year, you know, this team took a really hard loss to Mary Hart and Baylor. You know, this year, like it, it could have gone either way, seeing how the Turner was shooting. But the, you know, your guys kind of turned it around. What would you say the difference is between this year's team and last year's? Uh, I think knowing, uh, knowing, knowing, and respecting that it could happen. I think that that's a big that's a big part of it. Uh, um, sometimes we come into these games and we don't think that it can happen to us. And I thought that we came in with the idea that yeah, it can definitely happen to us if we don't if we don't come to play. And we made we we made enough plays today, uh, offensively and defensively. I thought they started out, you know. Um, I mean, shooting with 68% at the first at the first um, four minute mark, and then um, by the time we went to halftime, it was at 38%. Then uh, you know, Lynn got hot down the stretch right there, and um, you know, made some made some great shots. You know, he put on he put on quite a show right there. Uh, but you know, they, they're a talented group of, of players, man. They they gonna win a lot of games. So uh, he has he has a good group. You know this. Kind of what you're saying. I know Laterno gets off to this hot stop, but it hearts hot start. But this, but your team uh, kept up with their momentum. Like answer point, how proud are you for this team? You know, when like I said, it could have got really ugly real fast, but they stepped up to the challenge and was answering like blow for blow until y'all were able to kind of put this thing. In. Yeah, I mean. Listen, if if we, if we don't respond, then it's a different game. To be honest with you, then we're pressing, trying to figure out what we're going to do. And we don't, we you know, then we we might start doubting ourselves and things of that nature. Um, the bottom line is, you know. You know, we, we needed to respond offensively at that time. You know, certainly we needed to get stops, but in the event you don't get a stop. You need a bucket, and that's what that's what happened until we were able to kind of, you know, settle down and get a few uh, string together a few stops. You know, kind of what you were speaking on earlier. You know, moving the ball around. You know, I think this team shot over sixty percent from the field field goal range. Like, you know, pretty impressed, especially when you're shooting like that. Uh, what is it about this offense that you know just getting to a rhythm that helps? You know. Not only just Jordan kind of running it, but you know Brandon Love getting over 20 points. I, you know, we've seen Caden get some, you know, Col Colton Bits in his first game back. What is it about like getting so many people? kind of push this team over the top. Yeah, so in the past we've been an Eper opportunity to offense. You know, most most of you guys that's been covering us, you know, we don't care who gets the shots and and things of that nature. Um we're somewhat like that, but not 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 so much this year. Uh, we 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 know where we're getting our shots from and we know who's shooting them. And then after the lead, then I allow guys to play a little bit more freely and 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 other guys get get shots. But, you know, early on Clearly, we're trying to establish Brandon Love. We're trying to establish Caden Gums with his, with, with his ability to play in space, and then um, Jordan Mason with his with his decision making ability to get to his spots, rise up, knock down knock down shots. So, those are the guys that we're trying to establish. To be honest with you, and you know, another big thing you want y'all want to establish in the paint. That's something y'all wanted to prove on. I think y'all out rebounded them. I don't know quite the stats off my head, but like, how important is it to continue? Like, even when y'all are continue to shoot the ball really hot. Y'all is sure establishing that uh, dominance in the paint. Yeah, we we got to do a better job of rebounding. To be honest with you, we lost too many 50-50 balls today. We got to figure out a way how to get our hands on the ball. Uh, but you know, um, 
Man, we started out so good rebounding the ball this year. We want to keep that momentum. Um, obviously, with, with Tyrell going down, we took a hit there. But uh, we're trying to we're trying to encourage guys like Brandon Love to do a better job of rebounding. You know, in Tyrell's absence, if we can do get him, Chris Nixon, Chris Turner, Josh O'Gara, Elijah Tate to to help out and carry some of that load. If each one of them get get one or two more rebounds, then then then. You know, then you know the, the significant loss of Tyrell isn't 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 affect. It doesn't affect us as much. You know, it seems like y'all kind of got it some a lot of momentum. But you know, you got a really big win against Sam Houston State. I know Dylan Dawson had a really outstanding game. That yeah. you know, we all continue to stack these wins, especially when you're going into a really tough showdown with a uh, Houston uh, this Friday. How important is it to continue to gather this momentum? Y'all kind of built up, especially past these three games. You know, no matter who the opponent. Yeah, the momentum is a, is a confidence builder. Uh, absolutely, you know, and and we all know that um, it doesn't matter what ability you have. You know, if you're not confident in it, then then you know you'll never you'll never really reap the benefits of it. So uh, it's important for us to to kind of go into games like like this with, with confidence going into Houston. You know, when you're playing against a you know a top team in a country, you know, top three team in a country, you know, you can't go in and not not believing. So um, it, you know, it's gonna it, it it's gonna take more than belief, but everything outside of belief. You know, you you gotta start there. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta start there. We gotta we gotta find a way to believe. You know, speaking of Houston and a third ranked team in the nation, what makes them such a really great basketball team? Consistency. You know, um, you know, um, Coach um, Coach Sampson is he's a Hall of Famer. You know, he has an amazing staff. You know, his staff is comprised of guys that he's won championships with. You know, so Hollis Price, Quan is white, and, and you know, and his own son. So, and those guys are like his sons. So, um, you know, Kellen Kellen Sampson is you know probably one of the best coaches in the country that that no one talks about as an assistant, and so is. Quantus White and Hollis Price. So they have phenomenal staff, and those guys are consistent every single day. You know what you're going to get out of them. And I think the last thing is, you know, um, the non negotiables. You know, so those guys know that, you know, what what that culture is, and they have to display that every single day. So, you know, when you're at the at the point of your career where Coach Sampson is like that, you can be unapologetically yourself, and then everybody accepts that, and they and they you know they either meet or exceed your standard, and that's 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 where I hope to be one day. You know, Houston feels like they're the same bear here in the Lone Star. So, you know, I think they're one of the teams with the most Final Four appearances, you know, obviously with the uh, Flash Slamma Jamma during the 80s. Uh, what do you think, how does Texas State kind of get to where Houston is? You know, they've had their success, you know, in the 60s in the small in the small schools league, but in the Division One era, what does it take for Texas State to kind of get to a level of Houston? Yeah, you know, um, I would say this. You know, I, I, I haven't been at that level before, but Coach Sampson himself has said this, and I was at his press conference when he mentioned this years ago when he took over the job. And he said, he said, listen, um, you know, coaches win games, uh, administrations win championships. You know, so what happens is is your the the investment in, in into the the the, the athletic team, uh, you know, from the athletic department and administration is going to be um, in the, the alumni, the community, all of the investment and the investors, the stakeholders are going to be the ones that um, that level up Texas State and make it, you know, you know, the next Houston, if you know, for lack of better terms. Um, and we, we forget, man, we act like Houston has been that for, for forever. And, and listen, there were some dark years there before before he got there and the changing of the facilities, you know, the changing of the culture, you know, the demands um, and, and, and just the support that he got from, uh, from the alumni base. So, um, you know, hopefully, you know, the things that we're doing here can be recognized across the, um, you know, across the state and um, in the Bobcat faithful can come out and support you know this program along with gj's program along with trout's program you know along <coughs> along with cozy's program and all the other great cat you know all the other great programs here and they do a great job but there are levels to this thing and if we're going to get to that level then every it's going to require more from everyone you know i don't want to leave out you know colton bits and you know his first game in a bobcat uniform you know you know i know with when you get a new player in, you just want to kind of solely acclimate them into the system. But how do you think of his performance tonight? You know what? I thought he did pretty good. You know, 
You know, you get you got to know what you're getting out of Colton. You know, he's a little bit of a gunslinger, so you know you know it's going to go up. So one thing he doesn't lack is confidence. You know, so uh, you know he got a ways to go to get himself in shape. You know, got to work on his timing, and then we got to you know just build that level of chemistry to kind of uh, understand where he likes it, the ball at, and and, and how he's going to fit into our defensive scheme, and you know, and things of that nature. But hey, we're happy to have him, and it's a blessing that he's that he's been cleared. And over to Letourneau, I know uh, seems like seemingly last year y'all were playing right hard in Baylor. You know, it wasn't the result y'all wanted to get, but uh, what would you say the difference is between uh, from last year's game to this year's game, being able to get a get a win over a tough Letourneau opponent that seemed like, you know, if y'all, that could have easily flipped the other way? Um, I think, honestly, we just came out with the right energy and focus going into the game. I mean, we didn't we didn't play perfect. Like defensively, we could have been a lot better, guarded the three point line better, like we have all year. But we executed offensively really well, and we we're able to fly around and uh, out rebound them. So I think we came out to compete instead of thinking we we're gonna have the game to us and playing hard. You know, y'all coming up a really big win against Sam Houston. Uh, how do y'all continue to uh, stack these wins on top of each other, especially when y'all got a tough opponent in Houston coming up? Um, just building brick by brick, um, trusting the scout. Trusting our principles. Uh, I think, yeah, piggyback off that, like just building, building game by game, brick by brick. And once, once we win, moving on to the next game, like taking, taking our confidence from the game before, but moving on and focusing on the next scout and making sure that we're not taking the weight of the last game into the next one. Mm-hmm. You know, Letourneau showed it up pretty hot. It seemed like anything they would throw up, it would just kind of find the middle of the basket. But y'all seemingly answered everything that Letourneau threw at you. What was the key to, like, especially in that? Early in the first half, when Letourneau seemed so hot, just keeping that offense rolling. Um, I think we were poised. Like we didn't really, we weren't really paying attention to the score. Like we were just focusing on like what we could do better as a team defensively, and then just making sure we executed offensively and taking care of our, like taking care of the ball and taking advantage of mismatches inside. Yeah, I think we just like you said, poised, um, knowing and poising our will on offense, and just gotta get better defensively. You know, what was the key, you know, anytime you score 100 points, obviously everything's going right, but when you shoot 60% from, over 60% from the field goal range, obviously everything's going right. What was the key, like, to everyone's hot shooting, especially when kind of what we kind of, when Coach Josh talked about earlier, when the assists are also hitting as well? i say get, we've been getting in the gym more. Um, yeah, just getting shot shot up, getting reps. Yeah, I think we've been, we've been holding each other accountable, getting each other in the gym. And then, you know, trusting each other, knowing that we're going to knock down shots, and knowing that the guy next to you, trust you, makes it easier to make shots. You know, Brandon, you were a force down there in the paint, just uh, not knocking all those shots down, dabbing all those rebounds. What, how important is it, you know, when y'all, when y'all, one of the focuses this year was like making sure like, y'all were going to re- out rebound every single team. What is the key to gain, getting all those rebounds? Uh, finding our man, boxing out, and just jumping high. I, I struggled today, but. Hope I do better in the Houston game. You know, Jordan, you had your fair share of rebounds too. Just how important is it? You know, no matter what position it is, y'all continue to get those defensive rebounds and eliminating those second chance shots. Uh, I think it is real important, like just uh, rebounding as a team. So I mean, boxing out your man, and then I mean, uh, our forwards were doing they were doing a lot of the dirty work. I was just able to come in and, gr- and grab the rebound, to be honest. And how good does it make you feel when like? Everyone's kind of doing their position, and it opens up stuff like you to get a lot of rebounds, and also Brandon a lot of rebounds. Uh, I mean, it, it was it was awesome because I mean, coach has been trying to get us to to box out all five of us, and I feel like doing that that's a that's taking the next step as a team. So it was good to see that. You know, how has this kind of team progress up? You know, y'all are about to head to this really big showdown with Houston. How's this team kind of progress? You know, kind of building off y'all's big Sun Belt tournament run uh, earlier this year to now. Um, I think one we're we're um, we're starting to find our identity as a team. We're figuring out what we do well and what we need to do to win games every every time, like every game out. And I feel like we're getting healthy and we're getting more guys back and we're all gaining confidence in each other and in ourselves. I say playing confident, knowing our roles, trying to start in them, and um, getting our guys back. You know, that's another thing Coach Josh talk, talks about starting off with good energy. What is that? What is what does he mean by that? Starting off with good energy. Coming out, playing hard, and just connecting and competing. Uh, I feel like good energy, like it starts like before we even get to the game, like shooting around and and scout and pregame meal, all that, like all that stuff, the little things, like that starts us off, and then just you know the first four minutes coming out and winning the first four minutes and flying around and competing. 
You know, y'all got a really tough matchup against uh, Houston. I know Houston se is seeming like the standard bearer here in the Lone Star State, you know, with five slamming jamma, you know, their recent uh, Final Four run with uh, Coach uh, Sampson over there. Like, what, is, what do you think it's going to take for Texas State to, to get to the level where Houston's at? Um, honestly, I think that we just need to be confident in our ability and uh, continue to win games and, like, build the culture because the culture that they have over there is, is amazing. And, I mean, we're on our way there, but we've got to – continue to build and like it starts with the guys here and then we've got to teach the guys that are coming in what the coach is about and make sure we hold them to that. Yeah, exactly what he said.